If you want to see dramatic tension between boxers and the ring, you should definitely watch our picks for the best modern boxing movies. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Bleed for this, 2016. Let me show you how I fight? Yeah. Show me who you are. Bleed for This is a biographical sports film written and directed by Ben Younger and stars Miles Teller, Aaron Eckert, Katie Segal, and Kiaren Hines. Passion is everything that drives you, but it may be your greatest flaw. This is at least applied for Vinny, the Pasmanian devil, Pazienza, a small boxer who got the world's attention after winning two major duels. But then a near-fatal car crash happens, and he is told he may never even walk again. This is the inspirational story of one of sport's most incredible comebacks. It ain't orange juice and tip jobs and sunglasses. This is it. This is it! Do you think I'm gonna lose this fight? Number nine. Ali, 2001. Y'all wanna lose y'all money? Then you bet it on Sonny. He know I'm great, he will fall in eight. Come on, you big ugly bear, I'll whoop you right now! Ali is a 2001 biographical sports drama film, written and directed by Michael Mann, and stars Will Smith, Jamie Foxx, and John Voight. We follow the controversial and iconic story of heavyweight boxer Muhammad Ali along his journey of loneliness, conflict, and hate. Directed to be a punch in the face, we observe Ali's life unfold through a variety of formative and deeply impactful events, like his refusal to fight in the Vietnam War, or his infamous rise, fall, and comeback as a boxer. I'll crawl out of the ring and take the first jet airplane out the country. Is that a promise, Mr. Clay? You're gonna be the first one eating his words. Cassius, Cassius you're a seven to one underdog he talks in this with fight. his fists. What do you say? You scared of him? I'm gonna give Sonny Liston talking lessons, boxing lessons, and falling down lessons. <laughs> Number eight. Real Steel 2011. <laughs> Real Steel is a science fiction sports drama film directed by Sean Levy and stars Hugh Jackman, Dakota Goyo, Evangeline Lilly, and Anthony Mackie. This epic boxing movie reimagines the old formula with jaw-dropping special effects and visually visionary ideas. In the near future, boxing tournaments aren't fought by people, but by gigantic robots controlled by them. Wannabe star and outsider Charlie is far from the game, but with a little trust into an old and chunky robot, he may win back his family's love. Spin left! Spin right! <laughs> Number 7. Creed 2, 2018. These dudes killed my pops. Now they parading around talking shit. I can't let that slide. Creed 2 is a sports drama film directed by Stephen Capel Jr. and stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, Dolph Lundgren, and Florian Montanu. This powerful punch assembles a striking hit at fans' hearts in the best ways possible, not only being a remarkable sequel to its already classic predecessor, but a worthy sequel to the Rocky legacy. The legacies of a fateful 1985 boxing match come to a conclusion when Creed's son is challenged to fight the son of the man who once killed his father. Number 6. Rocky Balboa, 2006. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Rocky Balboa is a sports drama film written and directed by Sylvester Stallone and stars him alongside Burt Young, Milo Ventimiglia, and Antonio Tarver. Fans have waited so long for the Rocky franchise to finally return to its glory, and Rocky Balboa does exactly that. The story also sees Rocky after his glory days and ready to return one last time. 
but incidents lead to other incidents, and soon he finds himself in a challenge against the world's reigning heavyweight boxing champion. Pile driving punches that will have to hurt so much they'll rattle his ancestors. Every time you hit him with a shot, it's got to feel like he tried kissing the express train. Yeah, let's start building some hurting bombs. Number 5 Southpaw 2015 All I need is a six weeks. I need six weeks. I'll give you my everything. Southpaw is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Antoine Fuqua and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker, and Rachel McAdams. The film follows Billy Hope, a boxer who sets out to get his life back on track after a fatal incident sends him on a rampant path of destruction. He begins to fall into a great depression. But when the decision regarding the custody of his daughter is under question, Billy decides to get his life back on track by getting back into the ring. Number 4 Creed 2015 I want you to train me. All right, I need somebody solid, and who else better to go to? Right, you at least owe me that. Creed is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, and Felicia Rashad. It is a spin-off and sequel in the Rocky film series and follows the life of Adonis Johnson, the son of boxing champion Apollo Creed. Adonis wasn't born until after his father's death and wants to follow in his footsteps in boxing. Therefore, he travels to Philadelphia to find his father's friend, Rocky Balboa, in order to recruit him as a trainer for a shot at the title. You're going to take a beat, you're going to take this, you're going to get knocked out, you're going to get up, and you're going to see if you got the right thing. But you got to work hard. I swear to God, if you're not going to do it, I'm out. Number 3 Cinderella Man, 2005 <laughs> Cinderella Man is a 2005 biographical sports drama film directed by Ron Howard and stars Russell Crowe, Renee Zellweger, and Paul Giamatti. This true story of an athlete on his way to achieving his greatest success yet showcases the many odds and challenges of his life that stood against him. This journey of loss, injury, downfalls, but also rising will not only give you goosebumps, but literally have you on the edge of your seat while you are witnessing one man break his limits. Bang! <laughs> Unbelievable. Pop, pop, slide, slide and slip and you were like a cat. I did that on a hash. Imagine what I would have done to him if I had a couple of steaks. Jimmy, that was one hell of a goodbye. Number two. Million Dollar Baby, 2004. This bag? Yes, that bag. That's my bag. And if you're hitting it, people will think I'm training you. Is that such a bad thing, boss? Million Dollar Baby is a 2004 sports drama film directed by Clint Eastwood and stars him, Hilary Swan, and Morgan Freeman in leading roles. Frankie Dunn is a veteran boxing coach who has dedicated his life to the ring and but has little to demonstrate. The movie shows how his past mistakes haunt him and his quest for atonement by helping an underdog amateur boxer achieve her dream of becoming a professional. Can I give you some advice? I'd appreciate that. You're going to find a trainer either in this gym or somewhere else that's going to want to train a girl. It's the latest freak show out there. But the only trouble is they're going to be wasting your time because you're too old. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Who's that you're fighting there, champ? Satterfield versus Kinky. Tommy Kinky. <laughs> Never had it in him to hurt a man. That was his problem. His skills are in hell. <laughs> I didn't even know they had boxing in a place like this. Well, it's a special program. We only get bouts every six months. Mostly we fight guys from other prisons. How long you been on top? 10 years. Number one, The Fighter, 2010. Be my fight, Alice? Huh? Just once? 
you. Maybe just this one time, not for Dickie? Huh? The Fighter is a 2010 biographical sports drama film directed by David O. Russell and stars Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, Amy Adams, and Melissa Leo. The film is based on the true story of professional boxer Mickey Ward, who tries to escape the shadow of his more famous older boxing half-brother Dickie Eklund and get his own shot at greatness. It was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won the awards for Best Supporting Actor for Christian Bale and Best Supporting Actress for Melissa Leo. This is supposed to be my fight. This is my shot it at the title. I won't fight. get another one after this. Am I being selfish? No. Am I saying Mickey, Mickey, Mickey? You know what? If I am, I'm sorry. I thought I was fighting for the championship, and I thought you were my mother, too. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.